Hey everybody, it's Eric, 80s Horror Man here, and welcome to day 16 for my 31 Days of Horror. Today, I'll be doing a movie that was done in 2024, and this movie came in theaters earlier this year, in theaters, and I was kind of on the fence if I wanted to see this movie in theaters, but after when the movie came out on Blu-ray, and after I watched it, hit it, I'm like kicking myself, and I'm like, I knew I should have gone to the theaters to go see this movie because this movie was actually really good and I definitely enjoyed this one and the movie I'm talking about is Abigail. Now Abigail is where you got uh, a group of uh, wannabe thieves who are who is hired by a mysterious fixer and they want them to kidnap a 12 year old girl from a from an underworld figure and hold her for ransom for for one night for 50 million dollars that they're requesting for well it turns out that the, the this 12 year old girl is wearing a ballerina outfit and she's into ballet but uh, she's not just an ordinary 12 year old girl that they're they're holding for ransom and guarding it turns out that she's actually a bloodthirsty vampire so now these thieves are trapped in this house with this 12 year old ballerina vampire girl and now they have to find a way to survive against this bloodthirsty vampire so that's pretty much the the synopsis of this movie and again when i first watched this movie on blu-ray he, he i was just like Man, this movie is just so good. I definitely enjoyed it. And and it, this movie is definitely one of my favorite vampire movies because I got other favorite vampire movies like the original Fright Night is my number one favorite. Lost Boys is my second favorite. And I mean for other favorites, there's also 30 Days of Night, John Carpenter's Vampires, and uh, From Dusk Till Dawn. And after I watch this movie, I'm thinking, okay, this movie is definitely going to be one of my favorite vampire movies on that list. And I mean also one of my other favorite vampire movies that's also on that list is uh, Near Dark. So oh, I thought the, there was some good blood and good gore in this movie. He, and the, this movie was just fun. And I definitely enjoyed this one. If you have not seen Abigail, highly recommend checking it out. This movie does have Special features where it's got uh, deleted and extended scenes, gag reel, becoming a ballerina vampire, feature commentary, and more. So, right there, there's the back for the movie. So, if you have not seen Abigail from 2024, highly, highly recommend checking it out because this movie was just fun it was so very good i definitely enjoyed it so abigail from 2024 highly recommend checking it out all right guys so that's it for day 16 for my 31 days of horror what do you guys think have you seen this movie before if so please let me know in the comments down below i'd like to hear your thoughts also do you have any favorite vampire movies that you like that's your favorite like, do you have a number one favorite vampire movie? If so, please put that in the comments. I'd like to know what your favorite vampire movies are. And, like, what's your number one favorite vampire movie of all time. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for some more videos and some more videos of the 31 Days of Horror. Later.